Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another reading of The Haunted and today's chapter is super short. <laughs> super, super short, but it's called The Terrible Truth. This is chapter 35. That night, Jack had some problems getting to sleep. Excitement caused him to feel almost supercharged with energy. The house was calm and quiet. His parents had reflected this welcome turn of events. He hadn't seen them smile so much in nearly two years. Jack lay in the shadows of the bedroom trying to ease himself into sleep. He thanked God for all his blessings and within 10 minutes found the darkness that was sleep and let it overwhelm him gently. Jack came up out of his out of bed as if a shotgun blast had sounded in the hallway. He was bathed in sweat and shaking. Moments later, Janet sat up next to him. My God, she said. They both heard banging in the walls, a sure sign that it had not gone at all. After a time, as the banging continued, Janet and Jack went in to comfort their daughters. The girls were well aware of what the banging represented. Kim, through tears, said, Is it ever going to leave us alone, Mom? Ever? Speaking in barely a whisper and fighting back her own tears, Janet said, I don't know, honey. I really don't know. After an hour or so, the banging stopped. The girls went back to sleep. Jack and Janet lay in bed, wrapped in each other's arms, watching Dawn smudge the window. They were exhausted, drained, and terrified. I don't know what we're going to do, Janet said. Somewhere there's somebody who can help us. There's just got to be. He went on to say something that he thought he'd never say. Maybe it's time we went public. Maybe somebody will hear us and call us. But the girls... Maybe there's some way we can do this anonymously. But how? Let's talk to Ed and Lorraine about it. Going public is almost as frightening as dealing with the demon, Janet said. He sighed, stared glumly at the street dawn sky. We've got to do something, Janet. We've got to. But as he thought of all the problems publicity would inflict on his family, Jack said, let's give it a little more time. Let's just see what happens, all right? Janet said gently, all right, Jack, if that's what you think is best. She held him, and finally they drifted into uneasy sleep. Father McKenna's sleep was also troubled that night. He found himself spending many long hours saying ancient prayers for the Smurls, prayers the early Christians believed were the only real weapons against Satan. You guys, this, this story is so sad. Anyway, see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.